Hello friends, good morning. I am Rama Tandon and I am a dyslexia therapist. Today I am going to share another interesting story with your child. Now because the story is a little longer, what I suggest is you let your child see the pages of the story and let the child hear my voice. So this way the child can read the story with me. And then maybe you can keep practicing the same story over and over again. Because I mean reading never really is you you can never run short of time when you want to read a storybook. And please share any of your stories that you want me to uh, read to your child. Any favorite story that you think your child will enjoy watching me and reading with me. It will be great. The little stalk catches a fish. Long ago in the deep forest, there lived a mother stork and her child. The child's name was Stinley. The mother stork took great care of her child. She fed and cared for him. Stinley grew up gradually. One day the mother stork told her son, the little stork, From now on, you have to find your own food. You cannot depend on me forever. So, I want you to leave me and go. Start your own life now. So, Stinley the little stock was forced to look for his own food. He came to a river. Beside some reeds, there were two wild ducks swimming. Shh! Be quiet. There is a stranger in our territory. Also looking for food, said one of the wild ducks. Stinley stood at the edge of the river and saw some fish swimming in the water. Wow! he exclaimed. I am going to have a good meal. Stinley tried to use his long beak to catch the fish. But he only scattered them away and caught nothing. Stinley then realized his beak was full of dirty mud and felt so discouraged. The two wild ducks started to mock at Stinley. Ha ha ha! What a stupid stock you are! You cannot even catch, catch a single fish! Stinley was so embarrassed. Once again he tried to catch some fish but was still unsuccessful. He pecked and pecked but could not catch any fish. Stinley failed to catch any fish after that. The two wild ducks laughed and jeered at Stinley. What a stupid stalk you are! Stinley became very sad and discouraged. He looked into the water. He saw his own reflection in the water all muddy and filthy. Is that me? Stinley asked himself. When Stinley thought of how the two wild ducks jeered and laughed at him, he said to himself, their behavior disgusts me. Stinley now felt so embarrassed that he did not even want to try and catch any fish again. He felt so shameful and discouraged that he hid his head under his wings and pretended not to see anyone. Stinley lost all his confidence and interest in catching any fish. Just then, a huge number of fish swam around his legs. Poor Stinley did not pay any attention on the fish swimming around him. One evening, the two wild ducks noticed Stinley lying on the river bank. He was not moving. When they approached Stinley, they found he was dead. Poor Stinley had died of starvation. Uh, keep watching. If you have any feedback, please share the details with me and everything is in the description below. Thank you so much.